Welcome to this BP Trinidad and Tobago facility. I want you to know that safety is our number one priority and your safety is of utmost importance to us. The procedures presented in this video are designed to ensure the safety of all personnel, visitors and employees alike who are on our facility. This video presents the rules and guidelines for responding to several types of emergencies that could occur while you're on this facility. In order to ensure the safety, reliability, and efficiency of our operations, all BP Trinidad and Tobago facilities operate under the BP Operating Management System, which is referred to as OMS. OMS defines how we operate and it integrates all of our standards, practices, procedures, and policies into one single system. For more information on this, feel free to chat with any member of the BP Trinidad and Tobago team. Once again, welcome to our facility and please have a safe visit. Welcome to this BPTT offshore facility. Offshore platforms and rigs are marvels of technology and engineering. They also present a range of unique and diverse safety challenges peculiar to their own high-tech design. Over the years, BPTT has developed and implemented a range of stringent instructions, procedures, practices and standards that have considerably reduced the occurrence of accidents and the level of their risks in these complex environments. Health and safety are of the utmost importance. On a production platform, the safety of every individual, as well as the environment, depends on every individual following the correct and appropriate practices. Over the next few minutes, you will be acquainted with the health, safety, security and environmental practices and procedures which must be observed by visitors and crew at all times aboard these platforms. These procedures and practices are governed by BPTT's overriding safety and operational risk policy. No accidents, no harm to people, and no damage to the environment. Your attention to the following information is of the utmost importance. OMS is the way we operate and conformance to OMS is mandatory at every BP location. By following OMS, we ensure that we operate consistently at all sites and drive continuous improvement. All procedures and practices must be assessed through the OMS Navigator to ensure that the most up-to-date documentation is being used and procedures are being properly followed. All standards referred to in this video fall under OMS. After confirming your arrival aboard the platform with the helicopter landing officer and the offshore installation manager, you will be assigned a T-card. This card indicates your specific mustering location on the site and will be used in the event of an emergency when you may have to be accounted for quickly and conclusively. New or transferred employees and visitors will be required to wear a green hat for 14 days. A re-induction is required every three months. Your sense of orientation is also important. Please make a special effort to note your bearings during the tour that follows this briefing. Identify landmarks, the cardinal points, and even wind direction. While touring, you should occasionally glance behind you to familiarize yourself with how the terrain looks from the opposite direction, in case you should have to return via this route in an event of an emergency. Of paramount importance to safety is personal protective equipment. You must wear the following. A regulation safety helmet approved for offshore facilities, non-metallic, adjusted to fit your own head. Regulation 8-inch high, oil-resistant, steel-toed safety boots. Flame-resistant, long-sleeved orange coveralls only. Effective from January 1, 2013. Gloves where required. Clear safety glasses with side shields. Airplugs or air muffs. For your own safety, 
The wearing of jewellery, with the exception of watches with non-metallic bands, is not permitted. No illegal substances or alcoholic beverages are allowed on the facility. Smoking offshore is illegal and is not permitted on any BPTT offshore locations. Disciplinary action will be taken against anyone found in breach of these requirements. The use of cell phones and pagers is prohibited aboard the platform. These items must be lodged with the helicopter landing officer for the duration of your visit. Permission to record images must be given by the installation manager. Unsafe conditions, accidents or near misses must be reported to an operations representative immediately. Everyone on the facility has the authority to stop an unsafe activity. All persons on board must participate in mandatory emergency drills and safety meetings. In case of emergency, you will be required to proceed carefully and expeditiously to your assigned muster point, where you will be accounted for and briefed accordingly. Emergency response equipment and supplies are available at various points on the installation. Please note these locations and their contents. Access to these areas must be kept clear at all times. You are required to remain alert and vigilant at all times. If you observe any unsafe conditions or potentially unsafe conditions such as chemical spills, strange smells or fumes, use the designated channel on public address systems to make a report to the control room operator. You will be shown how to do this after this briefing. When making a report, please give relevant details about the location and the nature of the unsafe condition. BPTT's Environmental Management System is ISO 14001 certified and so everyone is required to understand the impact of their work on the environment and take necessary actions to reduce this risk. For example, waste must be segregated according to the appropriate colored bins. The following warning alarms have been put in place to indicate an emergency, the general alert signal. If these intermittent blasts of the general alert siren are sounded, you must obey the following instructions. Stop all work immediately and listen for a PA announcement. Secure your job site and tools that may pose further danger. Proceed immediately to an announced master point. Do not run, do not jump from any height or take any additional and unnecessary risks. Retrieve a life jacket from storage and put it on carefully and securely. Await further instructions. The abandonment signal. A continuous tone that indicates the highest level of emergency and means that evacuation procedures have become necessary. If the abandonment alarm is sounded, proceed immediately to your closest master point, retrieve a life jacket from storage and the emergency escape station and put it on carefully and securely. Board the lifeboat assigned to you in an orderly manner. Occupy available seats furthest from the doors and secure your seat belt. Safety and emergency requirements are posted at various points around the platform. Please take the time to read and familiarize yourself with these. If you have any further questions or suggestions, please speak with the helicopter landing officer, the offshore installation manager, the medic, or the safety and operational risk site lead on duty. BP recognizes that activities in its oil and gas operations may give rise to major hazards. Our approach to the safety and operational risk demands that operations personnel systematically identify the potential for integrity-related incidents and assess their probabilities and consequences. Personnel must be able to demonstrate that appropriate policies, operating procedures, prevention measures, and safety and emergency response systems have been established and understood. If you work for BP, you will be required to become familiar with the BP Group Operating Management System. 
This system has been developed to ensure a consistent and systematic approach to managing the integrity of installations throughout their life cycle. The Control of Work Standard Comprising of 12 elements, the Control of Work Standard is a formal approach to managing work risk and must be adopted by everyone. These 12 elements are grouped into five areas of work. One, plan the work. Two, assess and manage the risk. Three, control the work. Four, capture the learning. Five, stop all unsafe work. In the control of work process, all roles have defined competencies and hence specific training courses for each control of work role. Everyone is trained, coached and assessed to determine levels of competence. Some of the principal training courses required for working within our facilities are Integrated Safe Systems of Work Safe Isolation and Reinstatement of Plant Hazard Identification and Task Risk Assessment standard operating procedures, gas testing, electrical isolation, safety leadership. The safety and security of all personnel and equipment on this platform depend on you and others who are on this facility. Please help make our activities and the environment safe and efficient by observing these guidelines and by ensuring that those around you also do the same. We hope that you have a safe and productive stay on this facility.